Okay, on this segment of the video, what I'm going to do is trim all of the outline of the cardinal here. And this is on a two and a quarter inch piece of wood. And I've done that because I need at least two inches thick. So let me turn on the machine and you'll just watch me because I'm going to be making some noise here. So I'm going to come in. is the exact same outline as the profile on that template I had and I follow that. Now I'm going to take you back to my other workbench and we will do the top view looking down and I'll show you how to do that. Okay so bear with me a second and we'll be right with you. Okay we're at, back at my workbench area and what I want to show you here's the the pattern I had and here is the template I cut out on cardboard which gives me the outline of the cardinal okay so from this when I go on to the actual blank, this basswood blank that I have here, what I want to try to do is show you that this is a projection. This top view is a projection down onto here. It's not a straight, just lay it on there and, and uh, draw it up because you can see that if I just laid here flat, that this is not reaching all the way out to the end. It's actually a projection like this. You, you look down from the top here, and this should meet the edge, and then you have to look at it on this edge over here to see if the end of the beak is reaching there. And the tail is laying flat onto the table. So I'm gonna turn this around so that I can look down from above here. I'm gonna hold this template as if it's 
flat on the table, but up in the air here, so that I can look down from the top. And I'm going to come in, line myself up with the end of the, of the template to the end of the piece of wood, and I'm going to hold it straight out as if it was parallel to the table. So I, I'm getting a pencil, and I'm looking down from the top, and I use a pencil because if I use ball pen, I'm, I may want to change this because you think you have the total view drawn on there, and it may not be exactly right. So uh, I also want to make sure that this whole piece is on top of the wood. So that's another thing. It's, it gets kind of tricky in a sense, but this is what I'm trying to show you. I'm drawing this along the edge of the template as I'm looking down. And I'm going to do it on the other side as well, which is right here. And I come up come over and then and the, the trick is is to keep that down because you tend to want to lean this way and that picks up so I'm going to hold this here get my edge lined up with that pencil line still gets a little tricky and then I'm looking out here and I'm drawing this up right to the edge, coming back here. I'll set this up again so I could keep pressure back here and still hold the pattern in the right position. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm looking down and the beak is there. And then it comes over. And then I'm going to come over on this side. Have that come down. And draw this coming back. And I'll spiral this right around to there. So that is the view. Looking down from the top of this template. Now... What I want to do, excuse me, I banged that camera here, is to just view it again. What we can do is turn this around so that I can look at the head portion and, and the tail portion. And, um, sorry again, banged into that. I'm going to make this a little fuller because I didn't have it right the first time. So it, it's, it's good to check it out again to make sure that what you've drawn is correct. This comes up and over like this. So once I have this the way I want it and correct it, I'm going to erase out what I don't want. So when I get back to the bandsaw, I don't cut on the wrong line. This I'm pretty sure of. And I got this coming down. And this is just to get the this cutout of the bird. Now, you can check yourself out again. And again, I'm going to have to look down from the top. I don't know how much I'm obliterating your view. But as I look down from the top, I got the head pretty good and the tail pretty good. So this is... A projection with the tail down and this up above, okay? And you're lining the tail up to the end of the piece of wood 
parallel to your table, and then you want to draw it in. So this should do it for me. I'm going to go back again to my bandsaw and cut this out through here. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And the other thing too is uh, later we're going to put a center line in for the head, very similar to what we have here. We have a center line for the body, then a center line for the head, and we will build off of those center lines. And that's the same way even on the, on the, the belly side as well. So bear with me again. Uh, I'm gonna move you to the back area here where I have my bands. Okay, we're back at the bandsaw again. And I'm going to start cutting out the top view. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the tail and I'm gonna work my way from the back to the front. And I find this is more convenient and I'm gonna make noise with the machine, but bear with me, and I'll show you how to cut out the top view as we go. Okay, I'm gonna bring the tail out first. And I'm turning that up to that notch there. Then I'm gonna come in from the side. And just come in there and cut it. Then I'm going to follow through in the profile. I should say the top side of the bird here, the belly side, sticking out. I'm taking this nice and easy. side, and I'll do the tail again, and follow the pencil line, right on up, and one thing I meant to tell you, even from the beginning, and I'm just remembering it now, we had this in a block of wood here, when you were looking at this profile, and the grain of that wood in that block of wood was this way. So that is the way you want to go. You want to go with the grain going with you because it gives strength in here so that when you, if you did it carved with it, if you carved with a knife, the grain is going with you. We're going to always stay with, with the grain where we can. And that's what I try to cut out is with the grain. So I meant to tell you this in the very beginning uh, when we started cutting this out, that this profile view, the grain was running this way. It's slightly off of the, what would be the top edge. The grain should be going right through here. So just remember that now. I meant to tell you that before. So wanted to let you know that. So we cut the tail up to this point. Now I'm going to trim that off. Okay. Now we're going to come along the wing into the belly area. And I always try to keep my hand away from the blade if I could possibly help it. thing I do to help, especially when I teach classes, is there's a lot of material on these corners, and they're just too much. So to alleviate that, and this isn't the best practice, 
So I'll be honest with you right up front, but I've been doing it for years. I hold the piece on a 45 degree angle so that I can trim a little bit. I don't want to come up into the beak, but I'll lay it right here. And I'll come in and I'll knock that corner off. And this is just to expedite getting some of the wood off here because we need to round this in the same way on the top. So I'm going to come in here on a 45 degree angle and take that off like that. So I do it on that side and it looks like this. You can see the edge that I created. And then I'm going to do it on the top side on this side as well. take about a quarter of an inch off and then I'll do it on the bottom okay. now, that has the outline of top and bottom and the profile so you have it all so that is your blank we're going to start from. So uh, I will take you on the next video to show you how to lay this all out, and we will go from there. And if I can incorporate it in this one, I will continue. We'll see how much time I have, because I want to do so much time on each one so that you can follow it easier and uh, see how you can produce it yourself. If you ever need these blanks and you want a kit and you want to follow along, definitely contact me. I have not only this bird, but several birds. And if there's one you're looking for specifically, definitely contact me. Uh, I would also appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up and, and subscribe to my channel so that uh, it would be a great help to me and I would like to give more lessons as we go. I did the otters before, now I'm doing a cardinal now. So I wanna show you how to do it step by step and uh, we will start marking this out and we'll start shaping the body next. Okay, so I'll see you on the next video.